In a world where hypnosis podcasts come and go, one man is here to deliver a knockout, no hold barred approach, and deliver electrifying interviews with the world's top experts so you can discover the secrets to their success. Introducing the Hawaii Hypnosis Podcast. Subscribe to the newsletter and get instant access to four free skill building audios that utilize a revolutionary hypnotic approach to improve your skills from the inside out. It's practically bulletproof. As a member of Hawaii Hypnosis, you'll join the ranks of the movers and shakers in the hypnosis and NLP community and discover how to significantly improve your skills from the inside out. Aloha, everyone. This is Antonio Perez with HawaiiHypnosis.org. Today is not like any other podcast. It's actually um, a very special announcement. Today I'm interviewing Scott Sandlin from HypnoThoughts about an upcoming event that's happening uh, up in June. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Antonio? Doing good. Like I tell everybody, stuck in paradise. Yeah. So this event that um, that you've talked about recently on HypnoThoughts, would you like to um, just briefly talk about it and describe, I guess, how it came how it came to be and why it came to be? Sure. Well, the event is is HypnoFox Live, and uh, you know we've got we're, we're right up on twelve thousand members now, and uh, you know we did the Hypno Summits, which were really cool, and uh, it was really you know the the learning grounds for the school HPTI and helping the uh, IMDHA, the International Medical and Dental Hypnotherapy Association, we helped them stream their uh, annual conventions. And, uh, you know, over the years, HypnoThoughts just keeps doing more cool stuff and coming up with these interesting things. And as we've done that, we've created all these relationships. And, you know, I get to meet people. You know, I, I go to a conference. I'll go to the Mid-America Conference, which is really cool in Chicago, or the INDHA or ICBCH or any of the other ones. And you go to these conferences, and I get to meet these um, you know, hypnotists. And they go, oh, you're from HypnoThoughts. And, it, and people tell me about it. Oh, I got to meet this person from HypnoThoughts. It was really fun. You know, like you and I did at, uh, at Igor's uh, training. And it, and you know there's 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 just a fun quality to that. And with the size of our membership at this point, uh, I, I think it just makes sense for us to uh, create an opportunity to get a lot of really great presenters and to use our size as an advantage to draw these big names uh, that people want to hear and people who you know just they've talked online for years with each other. Let's let's put them in the same room. And uh, let's let us all have fun together. So we, we're doing HypnoThoughts Live this June in uh, in Las Vegas, and uh, it's, it's going to be a blast. It's really just it, it's already shaping up to be a, a special event. Yeah, by any ch- by any chance you guys don't want to change it to uh, to Hawaii, do you? <laughs> well, if it, if it was cheap to get to Hawaii, we would. I mean, the the reason we're doing it uh, in Vegas in June is because our goal in this thing is to make it cost half the price of a normal conference. And so we picked a place where that's cheap flights and cheap rooms and a place that would let us um, maximize the space. So one of our goals, and I can't promise this one yet, but one of the goals is if we get enough stage hypnotists and we get enough people who are interested, uh, they're going to give us their theater and uh, let us do uh, a lot of hypnosis shows and open them up to the general public. That is excellent. And one thing I would like to comment on, the power of HypnoThoughts and bringing people together. Recently, I would say probably about two months ago, I was working in my uh, activity booth here on the island of Kauai, and these two ladies came in and I was talking to them, finding out like what they do back home. Like, this one lady told me, she's like, oh, I, I, I do life coaching and hypnosis. I'm like, no way, I do it here too. So we're talking, and then she asked me what my name is. I'm like, oh, my name's Antonio. And her face damn near dropped, and she goes, I'm Gail from HypnoThoughts. Yeah, I saw your post on Facebook about that. So cool. That completely blew my mind away. It's it's showing how how indirectly HypnoThoughts is bringing people together. Yeah, it's just it's you know I, I take no ego in it because it's, it's not me doing it. You know, it's a big part of it is technology, of course, and then uh, and then people being interested. You know, it's I, I don't make people interested in hypnosis. It's it, hypnosis is an awesome topic. And uh, the, the technology is just there, and so these are just good people finding each other, and uh, and so it's just moments like that that are so much fun to just you know to do a handshake or a hug that uh, you can't do online. So that's that's what this is all about. Now, before before we started this podcast, I was talking to Scott, asking about some of the presenters, and he he had told me that there's some presenters that they 
they have some big names down the pipeline, but they really can't they can't say anything because the people, the really big presenters, want to know that we're, they're going to have the sheer volume to make it worth their while. What could you maybe talk about some of the presenters that you're able to talk about now, and then? Well, yeah, I mean, we've got some awesome presenters lined up, you know, and, and we haven't, to be honest, we haven't put a lot of effort into it yet. You know, our our, our plan has been to to build out all the other logistics first, to and to get the price down as low as we can, and then to make it as attractive as we can to get the big names. So the people who are on the list right now, some of whom are very big names, I mean, you know, Wendy Friesen, Richard Nongar, you know, that I'll offend somebody, but I'm not saying them because there's a long list already. Um, but we've got all these really cool names. Brian David Phillips is coming over from China. Um, and uh, we're, we're excited to have them. I mean, we're, we're thrilled to have those people. And there's other people who we want as well, in addition. And some of those people, you know, and some of them are bigger names, and some of them are, you know, not as big names. But they, they said, look, this is your first time doing a, a live event. You know, the Hypnothop, uh, the Hypnosomics were awesome, but the Hypnothops is awesome, but you know, this is your first time doing a live event. Are you going to get a real turnout? And, uh, you know, we have to be honest. We have to say we don't know yet. We can't promise anything. You know, because I don't want to overpromise anybody anything. And, uh, and what we said was, look, we're going to do our best to get numbers. And if we can get these numbers, then it, it means that, uh, you know, we should get bigger presenters and more presenters. And, you know, we're, we're giving away vendor booths. So we, so any vendor, any exhibitor, any presenter uh, who has products to sell can look at this and say, oh, my gosh, I have to be there. And we're opening up our exhibitor hall to the general public in Las Vegas. So anybody in Vegas can come and buy your self-help MP3s and your CDs and your products that normally you don't sell at a conference because, you know, you say, what hypnotist wants to buy my Stop Smoking CD? Well, the general public's going to be there, so they might. So we're putting together all these things that's really leveraged on uh, on getting sinus and getting the word out and getting buzz about this thing. And so that's, that's where we are now. Yeah, earlier I was uh, I was on the uh, the Facebook group that uh, Richard Nygaard started for the Hypno Thoughts Live, and he was talking about he was talking about some kind of special promotion for if people sign up by the end of the month. Could you describe what this promotion is? Sure. So uh, basically what it is is we get, if we get 100 members and we need to get 100 people to sign up by the end of the month, which is a lot of work, but if we can get 100 people by the end of the month, like Halloween, to sign up, then everybody who signs up uh, will uh, by that time will get a HypnoThoughts t-shirt and they'll get a HypnoThoughts script book, you know, the hypnotic scripts handbook that we created um, they'll get a free copy of that as well. And if anybody who is in that 100 or more, if more than 100 people sign up, if they also post it on Facebook and Twitter, we're going to give them a, um, a limited edition HypnoThoughts button. And it's a button that, you know, we have these buttons for HypnoThoughts that say the word member on them. And instead of it saying member, it's going to say supporter. And that's going to show that these are the people that stepped up and, uh, and helped make this event happen. That is an awesome promotion. Everybody listening to this, um, if you're on my blog post right now, if you look down, you'll see a, uh, it'll be like a little yellow highlighted box. It'll say, it might say, uh, promote promote this event, um, tweet this, or click the tweet. Go ahead and do that, and you will end up getting your, your free Hypno Thoughts button. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the key to this whole thing right now is, People go where people are, and we know that. And we know that, you know, it's, a, it's about creating a buzz, and it's about creating that excitement. It's about having fun. And this is our goal is to have this be the most fun hypnosis event. And, yes, there's going to be cool classes, and we're going to have great names, and there's going to be all that stuff, but this is going to be like HypnoThoughts. I mean, it's going to be about community. So we picked a place where you can stay up all night hanging out with your friends, but we also picked a location where if you bring your family you know, they're safe. And we picked it, we intentionally picked a location that's got a family area and a family pool and a, a whole family fun thing like a theater and like a movie theater and all this stuff like that. So that if someone wants to bring their family on vacation, they can. Um, because we know this is all about getting numbers. And we know Hypno Thoughts gets numbers. And we know that hypnosis conventions can get numbers. So it's just a matter of us doing everything we can to encourage the members to do what they've been doing for five years, which is spread the word. Yeah, I, I cannot wait for this. As soon as I saw it in the uh, news feed, when you posted something today, I saw HypnoThoughts Live, and I thought it was coming up really soon. I'm like, I'm like, how did I miss this? I'm like, oh, it's in June. Thank God. I have, I'm have. i pretty sure like half a year or however long it is, I can make $175 to pay. Yeah, this thing is so cheap. 
I mean, $175 for the names that are going to be on this list. And we're not doing what other uh, conferences do. You know, other conferences, and I like the other conferences. I don't want to make this sound like I'm, I'm bashing them. You know, they're, they're all good. I speak at them. They're cool. Uh, but, you know, the banquet costs extra. And if you want to do the special luncheon, that costs extra and things like that. We're putting all of those in for $175. You get a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner um, included in your price with about 50 or so, 50 or 60 uh, one-hour lectures. So we're doing things differently than uh, some of the other organizations do at their conferences because we're not an organization. You know, so the other organizations, the, the banquet, uh, you know, costs extra, and there's an awards banquet, and there's a, a, a potential luncheon that, you know, is a special premium luncheon. And there's these premium things, and we decided we wanted to have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner that were all included in the price because we are, you know, really about a community, and, you know, communities eat together, and it's this whole social thing, and, you know, your family sits down for Thanksgiving. We want we want this feel uh, at this convention, so we want to create as many free opportunities for us to interact. So uh, for $175, you get, you know, the 50 to 60 uh, one-hour courses, and you get a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner that everybody gets to attend on us. Um, and because we're paying for it, there's no reason for you to not come to a good free meal. And then you're going to get to see all the other cool presenters. You're going to get to actually meet these people that uh, you've been, you know, reading their posts for years. You'll actually get to uh, to see who they are. You know, I'm looking at. I'm just doing some math with calculator right now. Uh, let's just say breakfast, lunch, and dinner each cost thirty dollars, give or take. So I've never been to Vegas. I don't know the price. So it's ninety times three. That's like two seventy. If everything was thirty dollars a piece for three days, I mean, that right there, dude, you can't pass this up. It's an awesome deal. I, I, I don't care how I have to get there. You know, I have to flap my uh, my arms across the ocean. I'm definitely gonna make this. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is an event that we're really excited about. But I, I, I can't emphasize enough that this is one of those things that, you know, Richard Clark and I've been working on this for a while. It's been a lot of work, um, and we're happy to do it. But there isn't a way for he and I to do it alone. We need, and I, it, it's, it's ridiculous, I don't like asking people to do stuff, but we need people to create buzz about this thing. We need this to be the thing that everybody says, I've got to go, everybody's going to be there. Because it's the first time, because everybody knows who's going to attend at the other conferences because they've been there before, and they can know what to expect. We don't know what to expect on this, and that, there's an excitement to that. And this is the first time that people can say they were at the first one. And in order to do that, we need the people who are listening, the people who are interested, the people who are going to attend, we need them to step up and say so. We're, I'm, not, I'm not asking them to pass out flyers. Um, just to put a Facebook post up, put a tweet up, get this thing out there so that every hypnotist hears about this, so that every hypnotist knows if I go to this thing, it's going to be a blast, so everybody knows this is the hypnosis event of the year. And that's, and that's what I'm, you know... It's my job is to, is to push this because I, I care about hypnotists getting quality. And the way we get quality is to leverage numbers uh, because the good presenters, the good instructors, and the good organizations all leverage numbers, and they pay attention to those numbers. And I want every major organization and every major school to show up at Hypnothos Live. And I want them to be there because I respect them. And I want them to be there so that they can talk to the people. And I want all the people um, who have questions about organizations or questions about schools to be able to ask the person to their face and to ask and to go from booth to booth. And we're going to give each organization their own booth. And we're going to give each major school their own booth for free because we want the attendees to benefit from that. We want them to be able to walk up to someone, look them in the eye, and ask the same question to five schools and to five organizations and to find out what's the best fit for them. And the only way we do that is if we make it valuable for the attendees and we make it valuable for the vendors and the exhibitors and the schools and the uh, organizations. So that's numbers. It's just math. And that's what we need from everybody. Everybody listening to this, if you're on my blog post, if you look on the left-hand side, you'll see the various uh, social media things like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Like this post. Um, share it on LinkedIn if you want. If you have a blog, if you want to even backlink to this to this uh, hypnosis podcast, it'd be greatly appreciated. Obviously, it helps me and it helps them get the word out. If you have a newsletter, anybody listening, if you have a newsletter, either for this podcast or even uh, send out a message about Hypnothoughts Live uh, in the comment section. If you scroll down to um, the comment section on this post, 
What uh, they also want to know what Scott wants to know what other kind of presenters you would like to see there. So go ahead, uh, uh, comment. Let uh, let them know what other kind of presenters you want there. Yeah, please do. You know, we uh, the the idea of this is we don't want just our friends to be presenting. We don't just want the people we're familiar with to be presenting. So if you know somebody who's good, post it. Uh, where Antonio just said, if you're a presenter or a potential presenter. On hypnothoughtslive.com, there's a button that you can click to submit a proposal to us. So if you have a proposal you want to put together, you can send it to us. If you know somebody who's good, post it where Antonio just said. But we need you at Hypnothoughts Live if you want to register or if you want to submit your own proposal. And, and, let, me, and let me just add one other thing. I don't know if anybody listening to this is familiar with uh, the comedian Louis C.K. Uh, and what he's been doing in the last year or so. And basically, he did something that revolutionized comedy, and it's been really inspirational to me. Uh, you know, the way comedy shows work and the way the comedy industry works is, you know, HBO produces your stand-up special, or Comedy Central produces your stand-up special, and all this money goes to all these different people, and that's fine. Uh, but Louis C.K., he's a guy who's got a TV show, and uh, he's, he's, a, he's a well-known writer. Um, and he said, I'm going to do it differently. So he took the ball himself, and he said, I'm putting up my own money. I'm hiring the people, and I'm not going to do what everybody else has done. I'm not going to go to HBO. I'm not going to go to Comedy Central. I'm going to pay to film the thing myself. I'm going to pay to edit the thing myself. And then I'm going to build a website to distribute the information myself. And my comedy show is only going to be $5 to anybody who wants it. Rather than paying HBO millions of dollars, rather than all these other people getting a piece, he said, I'm going to make it cheap for you guys. And uh, he made a million dollars in 10 days. Oh, wow. And I saw that, and I said that. And by the way, he, he only kept one fifth of that. Uh, the rest of it he gave away, which is just why he's an awesome person. Um, and I saw that, and I said that's exactly what the hypnosis industry needs, and uh, that's exactly what we can do. We have the leverage here. We have the interest. We have the tools. And all I want to do is get this price as low as we can possibly make it and get you guys the stuff you're looking for and help you guys see stuff that you won't see anywhere else and that nobody else can show you because we don't play by rules because we're not an organization. You know, we're just trying to give you guys what you want and to expose all of us to new ideas and expose me to new ideas too, which is why, you know, making things uh, where Antonio said is such an important thing. You know, get all of us exposed to new stuff and not just hear the same 50 people as last year and not give the same awards to the same people as the year before. And I want to guys to get the awards. So, you know, don't, don't think it's, you know, sour grapes. I get these awards that are wonderful and I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative, but uh, I don't want to sound disingenuous. Uh, it's, this is about you guys. This is about us. This is about a community that's actually bigger than anybody thought it would be and what we do with that responsibility now that we have it and what we do with this, you know, soapbox that we have to stand on. And uh, the thing we want to do is uh, push education. And I, 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 that's, that's it over and over. We just want better education and, you know, more thoughtful conversation. So that's what this is all about. Yeah, the thing about all the people, like he was, I think he mentioned earlier, all the people that, you know, all the hypnotists, NLPers, whatever, have been talk we've been talking to a lot of these trainers over the years, being like, oh, my God, I would love to meet them. If we can get a lot of these people in one event, that'll be monumental. And we can do that because we don't have politics. You know, the organization just have to have politics. And, I, you know, I, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm anti-organization. I'm on the board of directors of an organization. I'm connected with the INDHA and ICBCH. I like the organization. They just they have a different role, and they have a different job, and they do it well. And uh, Hypnothoughts has a different role in the organization, and because of that, we can let everybody come. We don't have fights with people. So everybody's invited, and so you can put people in a room that an organization can't. And, and that's really exciting, and there's, there's a lot of potential and buzz in that. I know you said that there were some people that you really can't mention. How many additional people are you trying to get on board? Well, it's tough to say because there are some people we haven't even asked yet because we want bigger numbers before we even ask them. You know, and there's there's some people who've just given us a let me get back to you, and so they haven't officially said that. But it's sort of a read between the lines thing, and you can just tell that, that let's see what this thing is before I commit to it. What we have right now is, you know, we go to these presenters and uh, these potential instructors that we respect, and, you know, we say, We'd like you to be at this, and they, you know, and, and overwhelming majority have said, "Oh my gosh, what a cool thing!" 
And we haven't gone to very many people. Most people have come to us so far, you know, just the last little bit since we announced. Uh, but there's a couple people who've said, well, let me look into it. Let me see what this is. And, and I don't blame them. You know, we're new. But I want those people, when they look into this and see what this is, to say, oh, my God, this is a great idea. I want the people who are hesitant, people who are doing their due diligence as business people, like we all can and should, um, I want those people to, when they do their due diligence, to say, this is a no-brainer for me to show up. Look at how many people are talking about this online. This is the buzz of the hypnosis industry. Of course I have to be there. And I want the big names in the industry to be lining up for this event. I want anybody who gets a vendor booth, and by the way, we have the biggest vendor area we could possibly get. Uh, the Orleans Hotel is being really cool with us, and we're just trying to maximize everything and give everything away to people. So I want, I want with as big a space as we have, I want people to be lining up for vendor booths. And I want big names to say, well, maybe I'll just share a booth. Maybe, maybe Richard Nongard will have a little bit of extra room at his table and I'll squeeze in or... Uh, or maybe the IMDHA can share a little of their space on their table. And I want big names to be coming after this thing, and the only way to do that is to get everybody talking about it online. If I can be real candid, just I know this isn't the most exciting thing to hear, and it's not the thing that applies to you guys, but we're, we're putting in already on the line for us twice as much money as this as we did into all the hypno summits combined, which is way more money than you know, hypnothoughts has ever made. And the reason we're doing that is because we have to we have to pay for all the stuff at the hotel. And then as you guys register, it comes off our tab. But we just had to sign a contract and put a name on the line for a number that, you know, is terrifying, <laughs> to be quite frank. Um, but that's okay. I mean, that's, that's what this is for. And, you know, I, the reason we're doing this is because we're passionate about it, and the reason we're doing that is because we think it's a calculated risk, and the reason we're doing it is because we think it will pay off. And by putting our name on the line, by Richard and I putting our name on the line and putting Hypnothox on the line for that bill, it meant the room rates went down. And once we get the room rates down to as low as we could, which is sub $100, uh, once we got the room rates down that low, it just we give the money to you. And we just keep giving everything to you because Hypnothox isn't for profit. Hypnothox isn't trying to make money. Uh, and so because of that, we can be more aggressive in that respect. Now, you know, obviously our, our plan isn't to lose money, but, you know, that's where we are. I mean, that's how committed we are. I just want, you know, I, I know I do a lot. And I know I, I tell people that I'm excited about things a lot, and that's true, and I am, and I, I love hypnosis. And of all the things I've ever done in the hypnosis industry, and of most of the things I've ever done in my life, I've never put my name on the line for this much money. I've never invested in a project financially the way we're investing in this one. And if that doesn't tell you how excited I am about this, and if you think about what it takes to put on a hypno summit and to build that stuff from scratch, if you think about an online school and all these other things, to say over twice as much as four hypno summits combined, that's what we just put on the line. And that's how excited I am about this, and that's how much I believe that we're going to get the people to show up if you guys help. You know, and uh, for everybody listening, I'm sure um, there's people out there that are way better at making things go viral. I really don't know much about it. If you have any other ideas that you could share with either Scott or, or, Scott or myself, uh, email us or the contact link on hawaiihypnosis.org or leave a comment below. Any kind of help would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, oh, absolutely. What are the dates again? Yeah, June 14th, 15th, and 16th. And we're going to have pre- and post-conference. We're figuring all that out with the presenters as everybody shows up now. Uh, you know, we just want people to mark their calendars, and, and we just want to let you guys know about it. There is going to be pre- and post-conference. I, I don't know what those things are yet. It's too soon to say. But 14th, 15th, and 16th is the conference with pre- and post from some awesome instructors. Um, and just the, the people we've already talked to are really cool. And then think about all the people that are listening that are into the whole street, uh, street hypnosis thing. Vegas, that's all I need to say. you got, what's it, Fremont Street? you got all that. Yeah. It, just imagine the biggest street hypnosis event outside of the conference. Yeah, just imagine walking and doing street hypnosis with Shawn Michael Andrews because he's coming and he's going to be teaching it. Imagine just walking the strip with Shawn Michael. Now, I'm not promising that he's going to, to walk the strip with you. I don't know, but he probably will want to. Uh, you know, if Sean Michael Andrews and Brian David Phillips are walking the strip together hypnotizing people, you want to be there just to watch that, man. I mean, that's just, I, I want to be there to watch that, and I've seen both of them do it. But that just sounds exciting. Oh, I can't, I can, you have no idea. I, 
I cannot wait for this event. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be something special. It really, really is. So thank you, Antonio, for for the help you uh, you're doing just with this recording and and the other you know online stuff that you've been doing and will do, I'm sure, to to help get the word out on this thing because it's it's important to me and, I, and hopefully it's important to other people as well. For everybody that's listening to this uh, hypnosis podcast, make sure to if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the newsletter on hawaiihypnosis.org. You'll get um in, you'll get instant updates on all the other future podcasts I do. Um, updates on the future trainings we have out here in uh, on the islands of uh, Hawaii. Now, uh, once again, can you do me a favor and just, uh, just go over the dates real quick and tell people where they can register? Absolutely. Uh, so the website is hypnothoughtslive.com, and uh, when you go there, there's a button right on the right side that says, you know, register here. And uh, that, that'll have all the conference information and all the stuff you're looking for, and we'll be adding stuff to that um, over the next few weeks as well. Um, so hypnothoughtslive.com, and uh, it's in Las Vegas, June 14th, 15th, and 16th is the conference, and we have pre- and post-conference uh, additional trainings uh, to be announced. Hey, Scott, thank you very much for, uh, for talking to me today, and thank you for putting all of this together. Uh, it's, honestly, it is, it is a pleasure. It's, it's a lot of fun for me to do all this, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you, to you about it, and uh, you get it. You know, it, it's... It's fun stuff, and it's hard work worth doing. Uh, but, you know, hypnosis is cool. So uh, so thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to the Hawaii Hypnosis Podcast. Connect with us at Facebook.com slash Hawaii Hypnosis. Twitter.com slash Hawaii Hypnosis. And YouTube.com slash Hawaii Hypnosis. <laughs>